Hello, welcome to Geologia Geral, and today we're going to talk about partition coefficient and element compatibility. The partition coefficient is a numerical value that determines the affinity of a chemical element with a certain mineral. It is expressed by the acronym KD and is represented mathematically as the ratio of the concentration in the solid to the concentration in the liquid. In geological terms, it means where the element is most likely to concentrate, on the rock or mineral as solid representatives, or the magma or fluid as liquid representative. This affinity of a certain element with the mineral or with magma is related to the geochemical affinity treated in a previous video. Considering the mathematical formula, if an element has a preference to enter the structure of a mineral, the concentration in the solid will be higher and therefore will have a KD with higher values. If the element has no affinity with the formed minerals, it tends to stay in the magma, increasing the concentration of the liquid and reducing the KD values. KD is studied in laboratory and has some predetermined values for different types of rock, but it should be studied individually for your study area if that's the objective of the research. It is also responsible for determining the compatibility of a particular element with a mineral or rock. In a magmatic chamber that is cooling, several minerals are trying to capture the elements to crystallize. What happens when more than one mineral needs an element? Who has more strength or priority to capture this element? In this sense, it's the partition coefficient that determines it. For example, a certain magma is crystallizing amphibo, pyroxene, magnetite and plagioclase. The cimmerian element has KD of 2.99, 1.76, 0.55 and 0.061 respectively. So the one with higher KD for samarium has higher priority to capture this element, hence it must first enter the structure of amphiboles, then pyroxenes, followed by magnetite and finally plagioclases. In geological studies, we determined that an element is compatible with the mineral or rock if its value is greater than 1, meaning that for the example mentioned, samarium is compatible with pyroxene and amphibole and incompatible with magnetite and plagioclase. However, for the compatibility analysis of an element with a rock, we have to take into account the percentage of the mineral in the composition of the rock. In this way, the total distribution coefficient of a given element is calculated calculated using the KD values of this element in each of the rock's minerals, together with the modal participation of this mineral in the rock. Let's say for the example mentioned, we have 20% pyroxene, 10% magnetite, 40% plagioclase, and 30% amphibole. The calculation should be done as follows. The total distribution for samarium equals to the multiplication of the percentage of pyroxene 0.2 times 1.76, that's the KD value for the pyroxene, plus the same process done to the other minerals. So we have a situation where it's 10% magnetite, 0.1 times 0.55, that is the KD for samarium, the magnetite, plus 0.4 times 0.061 for the pleasure class, and plus 0.3 times 2.99, there is the KD for the amphibole, which equals 1.32, and therefore this element is compatible with the described model composition. It is interesting to note that if the percentages of minerals were different, we could have a case of incompatibility. There just needed to be less amphibole in the rock. So we see that an element can be highly compatible with a particular mineral, but if that mineral does not have a large amount in the rock, the element may not be compatible with it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.